Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to my garage. Uh, I'm gonna be doing an oil change on my bike, and uh, while I do it, I'm also gonna be changing out my primary case fluid and my transmission fluid. So I got everything prepped here, all my supplies. I got five quarts of 20 weight 50. I got a bottle of transmission fluid, one quart, and another quart of primary case oil. I got a measuring cup here and the other tools, which are some O-rings and a gasket for the primary case, engine oil filter, got some drain uh, for the engine oil filter to catch the oil, uh, some brake cleaner, and this is for the funnel for the primary case, and I got the oil wrench uh, socket adapter thing, got some funnels and some wrenches and some inch pound torque wrenches here. So we got these going here. and. One thing I did was I created a cheat sheet guide real quick. That's gonna be also uh, the chapters that are underneath the uh, description here on this video. And I'm just gonna use these as my uh, chapters and my how-to steps for uh, you know changing out th the three uh, fluids. So the first half is gonna be uh, how to drain all three of the oils. And the second half is gonna be how to put the new fluids in, all three of them. And if you can, See here, that's gonna be my first half. Uh, get the bike to operating temperature, which is really important for the Harleys that has a dry sump. And then after that, get the bike on the wheel chalk because you need to have that bike vertical so that you could put the uh, primary case fluid in. Um, and then after that, you uh, wanna get some tools and supplies laid out, which I already did. Get the drain pan and towels underneath the bike, which I have under here. And after that, I got to uh, get started here with removing the engine oil, transmission, and primary case plugs. And once those oil uh, drains, one of the notes that I made under here is uh, something I got from Doc Harley, an oil tip, engine oil uh, filter uh, tip, but it says, when you remove the engine oil plug, don't remove the oil cap yet. Observe that the oil comes out slow with the engine oil cap still on. This means the oil breathers are in good condition and their seals are working. So yeah, don't remove that oil cap yet once you take out that plug. Once you remove that plug, check and see if that oil is draining out slow. And if that's the case, your oil breathers are working fine and the seals on it are good. If they're draining fast and almost as fast as if you were to take off that, uh, twist off that engine oil cap, um, that means something's wrong with your oil breathers because the seals aren't working right. So that's just one way to check the internals of your bike or the oil breathers on it. After that, we got to inspect the plugs for any metal debris. You should expect some on the primary case plug and the transmission, but not too much on the engine one. So it's, uh, I guess, something to observe and see if you need to take it to your, uh, your technician if you need to. But uh, after that, you can unscrew the oil and transmission cap and let that oil flow. Let all those fluids flow out fast. And after that, while, you're, while it's flowing out or draining, you can replace the O-rings on the three plugs with a pick tool. And uh, that's those O-rings right here, those three O-rings. And again, this right here is the, uh, for my 2023 Lowrider SD primary case gasket or derby, uh, derby cover gasket. So that's gonna be right here. After you remove the derby cover, replace the derby cover gasket, remove the engine oil filter, and let everything drain for a while. So just once everything drains, you can move on to this part, which is replacing the uh, fluids back in. So first part would be to screw the primary plug back in. Here's the torque specs for my bike. Uh, fill the primary fluid back up, and uh, that's, that's about it. I put a note here saying the approximate amount is to top off to the bottom of the pressure plate uh, with the uh, vehicle upright or vertical. So that's kind of what, what the approximation is, needs to be at. Um, whether it be 36, 32, 34, you know, what really, what they're trying to say is, uh, on the, per the owner's manual, is approximately the, uh, the fluid needs to be filled to the bottom of the pressure plate. Don't know what that OD means uh, with the vehicle upright. So besides that, after that one, you would screw the derby cover back on in a star sequence. Here's the torques, uh, torque bits on those torques uh, screws. Then you would prep the uh, oil filter by filling it halfway and rubbing some fresh oil on the gasket seals. Screw in the engine cover or the oil plugs and the transmission plugs back on. Here's the torque specs. Uh, once you put those plugs back in, now you can start filling in the fluid. So fill in your transmission fluid 
And here's what they recommend, uh, the owner's manual, and the transmission cap back on. Here's the torque on the uh, transmission cap. And then fill the engine oil, four quarts, and then after that, put the oil cap back on. The four quarts is the initial amount uh, on, per the owner's manual when it's wet. And after that, uh, I can screw everything back in. And uh, with, after the four quarts you would, and patching everything up, you would go for a ride a little bit. And once you come back, we put it on a jiffy, put it back on the jiffy stand and check the fluid levels for both your engine and your trans fluid. And then you would adjust accordingly to be within spec. So yeah, initially you add four quarts and then check later, adjust as necessary. But from then, after you put the engine oil in, you would put the cap back on, uh, screw the oil, new oil filter on. Uh, make, once you make contact, you just need to turn it about half to a three quarter turn. Hand tight is all you need. Empty out the drain pan to the oil container so I can send that out um, to recycle. Uh, clean the area on, on probably near the engine oil fil uh, filter especially with some brake cleaner. Uh, get all the uh, oil off. Um, check my stainless steel exhaust too to see if there's any fluids that got caught on that. And then after that, go for a ride. Uh, once it goes back up to operating temperature, come back, put it back on the Jiffy stand uh, and check the oil and transmission fluid levels and adjust as needed. So that would be the uh, second half. First half, second half. Then a little note saying one quart equals 32 ounces. So this is my cheat sheet, which is also the descriptions uh, for the chapters. And let's get started.